up to this moment of my life was never easy for me. Like, right from the day um, I was poured acid by my uncle's wife, going through um, secondary school level was never easy. The first, like, <laughs> the first day I came out from the hospital, going back to school was never easy for me. Like, there are some days, there are some points in my life that will be like, oh, mom, let me just die. Like, it's not easy. My mom will be like, no, they are not better than you. Those people out there, those, those people, those people there are not better than you. So why will you die? Don't ever say something like that before. So I was going, I was doing things that would make me happy. Mm. I was, okay, uh, my, mouth is, my, mouth, my mouth is very sharp. So I think uh, <laughs> this is the main reason why I, I, I survived this because it was never easy. Okay, I, was go I finished my secondary school level, uh, meeting new people. Like when, you, when I move out of this particular environment, going over to another environment is not always easy. But because I'll keep on receiving questions, <sighs> what happened to you? I want to multiple questions. What happened to your face? Why did she do that? What did you do? I'd be like, I was just nine years old when it happened. I don't even know. I didn't do anything. Like, it's a family issue. I, don't, I didn't do anything. And why would I do this? Why would a small girl like me do something, something bad to someone that would make her for me acid? Okay, so I finished my secondary school level. I got admission. I went to, I started my university. Ah, that place is another word entirely. <laughs> Because there, over there, they'll be like, why would I? They don't even want to associate with you because maybe they feel you're not a fine girl and she has a scar on her face. Why would I even associate with this girl? But me, talk, no problem. If you don't want to associate with me, no problem. Let me just be doing my thing and be going. So along the line, I was going. Sometimes um, people will even ask my friends, why do you associate with this girl? Do you even eat with this girl? Do you even stay in the same bed with this girl? Or more, this girl is very irritating. My friend will come and tell me, though I'm a human being, I will feel bad. As a normal human being, you will feel bad. So I kept on going. And thank God for my mom. Because my life, like my life can't be possibly better if my mom was not there for me. Like my mom was my everything because she's always there to keep on telling me, nobody out there is better than you. Just keep on going. I finished my university level. Over to my NYSC. I went to NYSC. That was the first time um, Lindy KG Block carried me. It was like, um, I said, girl, survival, fin uh, finished her hand, uh, as in upon everything that happened to her. She went to NYC, she graduated. Ah, so I was like, then I don't know, I inspire people. I was just thinking, I'm the only one having this, having this issue. Like I've never seen someone that has the same issue that I have. Having a scar on her face, looking different from your peers. Um, so when I went to camp, people saw the something. They were like, hey, I saw you there. I saw you there. Oh, you inspire me. I think that was the first time I was so proud of myself. Like, wow, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know I inspire people. Though. Like, um, I stay in on each other. Everything I'm doing is just me and my mom. So I, I was not kind of exposed then. Okay? So I was just thinking maybe it's the end of the world or something. So people were like, ah. Go girl, as in you inspire me, inspire something like that. I was like, wow, I called my mom, mommy, look at what people are saying, you know. <laughs> look at what people are saying. Like, I don't know I inspire people, you understand? So that was how my life changed. Um, I started moving out from Onicha. People were inviting me, okay, I want to invite you for this, for that, for that. I was like, okay, no problem. So then me, okay. That is now leading me to what I'm about to talk on. That's um, disability rights and equality. Okay, first of all, a disability is someone that has an underlying health condition. Probably, you might not even see the disability physical. He or she might be suffering from um, something they cannot really talk about or you know something like that. So, um, okay. Finish, um, when, I, when I was about um, rounding up for my NYC, another problem came in. It was like, 
um, this girl, which company will even employ her? That face like this. Someone was, someone actually said that a guy was like, with your face like this, do you think um, any company will employ you? I was like, why wouldn't they employ me? Shabby, I did my IT in a company. They employed me for IT. Now, so why wouldn't they employ me for? Uh, this is normally a Nigerian, the way we Nigerians think. Because they feel maybe um, you have a one hand, you have a one leg, you are nothing. They don't want even, they don't want you in the society. And these are the things people living with disability are passing through. So I'm kind of here talking on people living with disability. Because a lot of them has messaged me, do message me but on Instagram or any platform that I'm in. How do you do this? Like, how do you do this? How, how do you do this? This and that. I was like, okay. Um, me, I'm a graduate. A lady was telling me, me, I'm a graduate. Um, I applied for, for a job. I was not giving that job based on because I have a one hand or I have a uh, one leg. Okay, I don't know who is who is hearing me. I don't know anyone that can hear me, but I just want to say I'm talking on behalf of people living with disability. People li living with disability are human beings just like us. We deserve the same like we uh, living with disability. Anybody living with disability deserve the same treatment given to any other person. You, you cannot just, you cannot just, okay, you cannot just discard a, a person living with disability because she has a one hand or she has a one leg because you don't know what that particular person can, 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 can pass through in that same company. So I just want to say that people living with disability are human beings like us. The second one, they need involvement and inclusion in the social and economic activities of the nation. Like, you don't have to exclude them in whatever, with whatever that is happening around them. You just, you just need to make them feel they are the same thing. Though they are the same thing, it's just a physical problem. They are the same thing. So they need involvement. Thirdly, they should, they should not be sidelined with their disabilities, rather they should be given the opportunity and privilege to be able to, to, be able to prove themselves in what they are capable of contributing to the society. Okay? It's just their disability. It's just a disability. They are not the cause of it. They are, they are supposed to be given equal rights because if you go to other countries, people with disability have associations that they are well paid for. They have been fed, like they don't even lack. It's just here in Nigeria that you see somebody living with disability begging for money. Looking like he or she does not have hope. They have, they have beautiful uh, features, they have hope. It's just here in Nigeria. There's an association I'm, I'm even in out of this Nigeria, Bones Association. They have associations over there that they pay them, they don't even lack to eat. You don't even need to walk. Me as I am saying, I don't even need to walk to make money. You understand? But here in Nigeria, they don't even care about people living with disability. And it's our society itself are not even helping. Are not even helping matters. Because as a person living with disability, you might have an, a, a, a small misunderstanding with somebody. The person will tell you, look at your face. You're not going to sit down. Look at what happened to your hand. As in stuff like that. So people should learn how to treat, as in everybody, the company, people, anybody that can hear me. Anyone that can hear me should be able to do something about this.